Hello there, welcome to the June 2018 applied paper. Here we're looking at question two. So a factory buys 10% of its components from supplier A, 30% from supplier B, and the rest from supplier C. It is known that 6% um, of the components it buys are faulty. Of the components bought from supplier A, 9% are faulty, and of the components bought from supplier B, 3% are faulty. Find the percentage of components bought from supplier C that is faulty. So what we want to work out is, um, is, a, is a effectively an equation faulty from A plus faulty from B plus faulty from C and this will add together to make 0.06, that's 6%. So we want to work out the um, proportion of this 6% that comes from A, that comes from B, and that comes from C. But to work that out, how do we work out the proportion of the amount of faulty parts that come from A? Well, 10% of the parts come from A, and then the amounts that are going to be faulty is 0.09, so that's going to be 0 0.009. So that's the proportion of the 6% that comes from supplier A, uh, 0 0.009. From supplier B, we have uh, more percent from supplier B, but they're more reliable. So we have 30% um, of the products come from supplier B, but only 3% are faulty. So that's also, in fact, just by chance, contributing 0 0.009 to the amount of faulty products. So then what we have is um, the amount of faulty products from C. Now we know that C contributes 60% of the parts, so then we'll do 60, 0 0.6 times X, and that would then give us 0 0.06. So now let's move these two 0 0.09s onto the other side. And that will give us 0.042, and then divide by 0.6, and that will give us 0.07. So that's 7%. So 7% of the products that come from C are faulty. And that will make sure that this uh, summation here adds up to make 6%, because 6% of the components it buys are faulty. Good, that's the answer to part A. Let's now move on to part B. A component is selected at random. Explain why the event the component was bought from supplier B is not statistically independent from the event the component is faulty. Um, well, if we want to check whether two events are independent, we can just do a check of uh, probability of B times probability of F equals probability of B and F. So let's check this. The probability of B is 30%, so 0 0.3. The probability that a product is faulty is 0 0.06. And the probability that it's from B and faulty is um, 0 0.03. 0.03. And what does the left-hand side um, calculate to give us? They will calculate to give us, um, if you do it on the calculator, let's just grab it now, 0 0.3 times 0 0.06, which will give us 0 0.018, which does not equal 0 0.03, so therefore not independent. So not independent. Another way of thinking about it is that if the events were independent, then it wouldn't matter which supplier they were from. Um, it would only uh, that if the if it didn't if it was, if the events were independent, then the pro probability of all of the products being faulty, so for example this 3% faulty, 9% faulty, 7% faulty, these should all be the same if the um, events were independent. Um, uh, but they're not independent because there is, a, there is a relation between where the parts are from and whether they're faulty or what the probability of them being faulty are. So not independent, you could even write a written explanation here, not independent 
because there is a relation between where the parts are from, between where the parts are from, and the probability of faulty. I'm probably going to run out of space here, and the probability of them being faulty. So there we are, that's the answer for question two, worth four marks in total there. Let's now move on to question three.